Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. We are back with a new standard best of one mythic rank deck. Breaking down the deck list, talking about the strategies, the synergies held within, demonstrating this within our gameplay footage against the best players and decks in the world right now. Of course, we'll wrap up with our final thoughts, a deck review, and maybe even buy a few things from the store. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help support. You can even become a YouTube member for access to our exclusive Sunday members only stream where you get to challenge me directly for bragging rights. Let's take a look at the new deck. Here we are. Now look how good I am, Mum, is the name of the game. Uh, a Demir build with everything that you would hate. You know, just uh, trying to win some games today, you know? <laughs> I'm sure many of you are looking to do a similar thing. And while this is going to be a good way to accomplish that, a Demir control deck with a lot of planeswalkers to kind of sidestep farewell while capitalizing on, uh, you know, a bunch of removal. And then, you know, it's Shieldred and a lot of draw, you know, uh, that's the name of the game. We've got Invoke Despair here as well. I'm sure you know what that does. And uh, yeah, so just, you know, building around that and making it as uh, consistent as we can. First things first, if you don't know, which you, you'd have to be living under a rock, which would be an appropriate place to hide from shoulder. The Apocalypse for four mana as a four five with Death Touch. And whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Perfect. Whenever your opponent draws a card, they'll lose two life. That's ridiculous. Uh, it's a four five, which is also, you know, like kind of crazy as far as blocking uh, goes. Very big body, dodges a lot of removal. And then, you know, helping us stay alive, helping kill our opponent is the name of the game. Uh, filling the deck with draw and removal, uh, you know, exemplified through Invoke Despair for five mana, four black at sorcery speed. Target opponent will sacrifice a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Repeat the process for both an enchantment and planeswalker as well. So, you know, it's removing up to three things and you're drawing as many as it doesn't, which is pretty cool. So potentially this is six damage, draw three. If not, you know, remove and draw for the total. We have more removal in the deck through cut down. Instant speed for one, destroy target creature with total power and toughness five or less. March of Sorrow for one plus X at instant speed. It can be reduced by two for each black card exiled from your hand to deal X damage to target creature or planeswalker, gaining X life within that process as well, which is quite nice. An Infernal Grasp for two mana at instant speed, destroying target creature. You lose two life. Go for the Throat for two, also at instant speed, destroying target non-artifact creature. Liliana's minus two ability, target player sacrifices a creature. She costs three mana, starts out with three loyalty, and can also plus one for each opponent discard a card, and minus six to separate all permanents target player controls into two piles. That player sacrifices all permanents in the pile of their choice. All right, so plenty of removal within the deck. Um, you know, through the kicker, Rona's Vortex now becomes removal as well instead of just a tempo play. For one mana, returning target creature or planeswalker you don't control to its owner's hand. That's the tempo that we will gain. You know, they spend four or five mana. We just put it back to their hand for one, right? Uh, furthermore, if this spell was kicked, put that permanent on the bottom of its owner's library. That kicker will cost an additional three. This is, you know, quasi-removal, if you will. They'll have to reshuffle or search for it uh, to get that card back. So it's really nice to... Um, basically permanently deal with that thing uh, through that kicker, which is quite nice once you do have the mana availability. Make Disappear can counter a spell unless they pay two. You can sack a creature for casualty one to copy the spell. They'll be paying four. Two copies of Negate for two at instant speed as well. Counter target non-creature spell. Then we're drawing through the Silver Scrutiny. Two mana plus X, and you may cast it with Flash if X is three or less to draw X cards. Kato can draw a card and then discard a card unless we've attacked with a creature this turn. Um, it can minus two to create said creature that can't be blocked. Of course, for three mana at three starting loyalty, you'll be building into minus seven. You gain an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player. Search your library for a blue or black card. Put it into the battlefield and then shuffle. Uh, it will be a creature card here as well. Keep in mind, it can grab a shield. Right? But at the end of the day, this is a draw engine for shield. Right? 
<laughs> Soren is here uh, for four mana, four starting loyalty, plus one. Looking at the top card of our library, revealing it. If we choose to put it into our hand, lose life equal to its mana value. Not a draw, but accomplishing the same thing. Minus two, creating a 2-3 vampire with lifelink and flying. And minus seven, dealing 13 damage to target uh, anything and gaining 13 life, which is cool. Finally, we have Teferi for five, four loyalty. Whenever you draw a card, put a loyalty counter on Teferi as a static or passive ability. Zero, draw a card. Beautiful. Minus two, create a two, two with that same static slash passive ability of whenever you draw, put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. Minus 12, target opponent chooses a permanent they control, then returns it to its hand, and then will shuffle each non-land permanent they control to its owner's library, right? So uh, they're going to get one thing from the field into their hand. The rest is going into their library, which, again, much like the Vortex, is a very, very nice way for Blue to be dealing with things. And I believe we'll see this focused on more uh, as we progress with the deck. Anywho, we have a Celestis here to wrap things up for three. Uh, the day-night cycle begins when it enters. Whenever it switches, you're going to gain one life, draw a card, and discard a card if you so choose. Of course, it also taps for uh, mana of your choice, which is quite nice. And you can manually switch that day-night cycle for three and a tap as well, helping us sustain throughout some of those more aggro matches. Atwari and Meyer here, uh, or Takanuma, for our utility lands and some marshes and rivers to help keep things consistent alongside that Celestis. So uh, a very fun deck, uh, Demir Control, I would classify this as. And, um, you know, I I do think that it uh, could maybe use a little something extra, but we're going to save that for the end of today's video. Uh, i got some big plans for this one. But, uh, you know, while we do watch today's gameplay and play some magic uh, ourselves, uh, let's all just, you know, keep an open mind as to how we can improve the deck and then we'll share all those thoughts at the end down below so uh again you know as always make sure to like comment subscribe share the channel to uh, your friends and family whatever whoever likes the game of magic we're uh liking it quite a bit as well recently and uh, you know just have an absolute magical day enjoy the deck and uh, we'll be back after okay opponent goes first i mean it's good uh tempo good chill out Play slow. Negate up. Vortex out. Building towards the now double invoke in hand. That's fantastic. It's mono blue, really. We just need uh, the counter spell for sure. But, you know, they're going to counter something. So, there you go. Have it. It's all yours, bro. Let's see it. I want to see another one. Come on. There you go. Casual counters. Can I get another... No more counter spells. Ay, 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 papi. Here comes the scoop. Because no one in their right mind keeps playing this game after three invokes. Another counter. You drew that off the top, you dirty dog. And I will not stand for it. Shall negate your negate. Because we are uh, running ahead. Not even, like a bricks walk or anything. This is like straight up sprinting. Full hand, more land than they do. And then it's just gonna be turn after turn. Make that token, baby, let's go. Pass turn. It's like your defenses aren't even mm. well, plenty of removal for if, you know if they do decide to play some uh, terrors or some gins. Consider. Man, those are some serious binoculars, you know? Terror for one. One, two, three. 
Give me that draw, baby. It's counter bait, of course. Very good. Draw it up. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. More counter bait, if you will. Who doesn't counter that? You definitely get down and dirty there, don't you? No? Well. All right. And then we try to get them to tap at end phase here. They don't. Smart. Another terror, that's fine. I didn't care about the first. I don't care about this either. Yeah, get after it, dude. Paying our ward too. Nice. I guess, uh, goodbye, Soren. The creature's much more valuable. May never be restored now. Land out. Let's hit for two. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go to fairy. Let's go. Counter bait. Uh, I can definitely pay two. Do they have another in which we can also pay two for? Mm -hmm. Minus two. Creating that uh, secondary token. And then we're going to draw. Pushing both the token and to fairy up. March is sick. Pay one, ward two, triple discard. That's what's on the table for me. We can also bounce ward two. Let's keep Teferi alive if we can. Another shore. No blocks. Take them both. You know, get after it. You're wild, bro. No setbacks next time. Yeah, you know. We should just have lethal. Pay our ward. Yep. Good game. Going first with three land into our favorite card, also known as the Celestis. Hello, hello, good game, good game. <laughs> We've removal up. Counter on non creature spell up. There it is. That's a good non creature to counter. This early in the game, right on curve. And now we still have removal up. Absolutely. <laughs> Throw cut down. Grab a land. They have removal. They don't have a counter magic.
I'm gonna go straight with the fairy, I think. Make the token. He probably gets blasted. Yeah. It is what it is. You know? Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm worried about an invoke. Oh. Just grabbing with the Brotherhood. Running out of time. Yeah. I mean, that's something uh, you're going to want to deal with right now. One, two, three, four cards in hand. There you go. There you go, baby. Nice removal. Three cards, Corpse Appraiser. Kiki Jiki Counter Magic. Interesting. I'm going to draw. To make disappear, isn't it? Let's pass turn. Just hold up our negate. March. And scrutiny. Alright, here is a cycle. I, I still, you know, even though we could get this in, I countered it rather. Just wait and blast him. So I'm going to draw here. Right? Um, one, two, three. Before Shieldred enters, and then we can just blast it. Instant speed to the bottom of your library. See you later! Here's an island, and uh, negate, march, make disappear. I'm going to make disappear this, because they're kind of getting up there in mana total. And the gate can hit the next one, as they like build to seven, probably, right? Alright, we're in without counter magic. We still hold up our negate. We have two marches. Let's go vampire token. Let's go. Two cards in hand. Good game. Counter magic, removal, draw... And then, you know, shouldered into Fairy Witch capitalized on a lot of that. Our opponent is going first, Mr. Juice. I know you. I know you. LOL. You're going to love this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Bro, it's your go. Let's mulligan, look for better land. Ah. Keep six, toss, invoke. We need a black source. There it is. Underdog. Come on, bro. All right, we're going to take some damage here, I think. We have to keep our counter magic up, though. There you have it, chat. Nice, clean counter spell. Fast turn. Land in play for four. Take out the underdog. Gain two life. Attempt to, anyways. There may be a, a protection, uh, maybe a bounce. Counterspell, of course, right? My bro's thinking about it pretty hard there. He says, okay, I'll let it go. 
building towards that invoke, which we tossed like a goddamn fool. Hmm. I think just draw two. Of course it is. Last match we couldn't find our third land. This turn we've got uh, all of them. You know, makes up for the last match. Isn't that what you wanted? Here's a Kato. Minus two. Pass turn. Phase out, which is quite nice. Fifth land, not invoking us yet. Cut down on the token. Sleeper in play. No black mana to push it up, so we can just eat it at one. Are you kidding me? This is outrageous. Now, what do we have here? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sick, bro. Sometimes you just can't beat the shuffler. That's outrageous, isn't it? Damn. They take down Arcado, drawing a card as well. I wish there's something I could do. The... Uh, I'm used to being invited. LOL. <laughs> <clears throat> Other land. We can get rid of this uh, underdog though. comes the Dougie. Let's kick it to the bottom. There it is. One, two, three. Only one land? Are you sure, Arena? You didn't want to give me all three? They're going to do it back to us. It's an invoke off. We've got an invoke off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Said we'll walk off and invoke off. Should call this like Blue Steel. Blue Steel would be a great name for a mono blue artifact deck. Oh. Oh, hello. Just draw, I guess. Big money, big money. Removal, removal, removal. One, two, three, four. That's a big hit. Please don't counterspell. Please don't counterspell. Ten life with Soren in play. They're going to invoke us. There's no way they don't. All seeing Arbiter drawing two cards, then discarding. I like that. Land out. Okay, useless cards. Useless cards. Dire times call for dire tactics.
whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks. And I'm still drawing lands. Okay, 34 in the deck. Whew, some really good things here. It's a big risk. If we play this draw and don't get anything, we lose Soren. Here we go. Do they have it? What's going on over there? An invoke? Don't care. More attackers might care. They don't want to blitz underdogs for haste, so I don't think, you know, there are any other haste attackers. Shouldered is annoying, but... No lifelink for you. And that would also kill Soren. They do draw. They do discard. Thankfully, there's no shouldered in play. I really like the all seeing arbiter with shoulder. That's cool. We need an invoke. Which is on the bottom of our library. <laughs> uh. Okay, Soren can still draw. Not be humiliated again. Maybe. We'll see. Interesting. Reveal, that's fantastic. Blood for knowledge. Land the out. Kick this to the bottom. Second Soren. First, my way. I have a wedding to stop. Make the token. It's good practice. I want to draw, but <sighs> make the token. I'm sure it pulls removal. I have no doubt. You fight for me now. Kicking Sorn to the bottom. So I'm glad we made the token in this case. Another Arbiter. Cool. Minus four. <laughs> Deadly. Do you think Cut Down works on that? Probably. We're going to have to double dunk on the sleeper. Right? As soon as they push into three, we take it. Thank you. I'm going to keep the land in hand to potentially discard with a Liliana. I mean, we have enough mana to do whatever, so it's it's all good. Four cards in their hand. Close game. A Teferi making a token or drawing? Even token.
All right, they're going to do a big draw here as well with the indulgence. I like that. Counters go up. Teferi goes up. Another land. Three cards in hand. Let's take our turn. Risk it for the biscuit. Can we get their three cards in their hand? All right, we don't gain life. We still do the two damage, though. We have no more damage output. This is a close match, you know? We're bouncing this. Right. Making a second one's a, a, a smart play. Knows the past better than me. Playing another Teferi. That's ridiculous. Nice draws. Cool doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. Lighten up. They draw here, pushing them both up. Now that is an interesting Good plays. Here's the attack. Here's that bounce. We are out of cards. They have two. An underdog can't blitz it. LOL. Nice top deck. <laughs> Fast turn. I wish I had a draw engine. Blitz the underdog, dude. Blitz it. Nice Blitz it. Race. That's game. They probably just drew a second invoke, too. A really good match. You know, look how close that is. Two life to one life. We just draw a few more lands than we would have liked to. I guess we still have the chance to top deck and invoke, and they don't have an enchantment for two damage. You can't pay three for this. You could go this far, though. Good game. Pass turn. Close match. It was a good one. We'll let them hit. Playing the lands, BMing us with a card draw. Another mysteries. You know, for someone who complains about me going slow, you're still you're sure taking extra steps for some reason there, bro. <laughs> no, good game. This is one of my uh, individuals who I uh, do private lessons with, so they're gonna be very pleased with this. You know. That's fantastic. I'm definitely going to hear about it. You go first, keeping seven. Storm Chaser. That's a cool name. I love storms. You know, a lot of people don't like them, I guess. Uh, I'll go out in the storm, you know. Uh, lightning. Love it. Thunder. Fantastic. You know, how close can we get? Uh, not that I'd like to be struck by it, but just, uh, you know... Hail, severe winds. It's just a fantastic. I love uh, when nature exhibits uh, power, you know? Energy, dude. Whether it's like, uh, I guess, kinetic through like an avalanche or a landslide, or, you know, the, the electric through the lightning. Or it's like so much energy. Even the northern lights are really cool, you know? Um, natural display of energy. It, it, I love it. So cool. Um, so that's, I guess that's why I like the name. Anyways, what are we doing? We're going to brick uh, another match without Celestis in hand. That is cool. Thirsty. Mm -mm -mm. 
the land has been pretty brutal for us in today's adventure, kind of like the the two or three uh, lands or the uh, nine lands. Very hard to strike a middle ground. Wow. I guess I'll toss a cut down. I don't know. Arena! Please stop embarrassing me. It's not funny. Thank you. So difficult, you know? Thank you. It's actually the right color this time as well. All right, let's start discarding some of this garbage. I mean, they could counter it, whatever. Yup, 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 yup. They have so much mana, this make disappear is not going to do a goddamn thing. You know? Yes, I'm sure. Auto pay, then they protect. Oh my god. If only we didn't brick. You know? They happen to have the counters that are utilized through, you know, having more resource than your opponent. I'm ready to concede. Four cards in hand. They've got lethal and four at most. I don't know if we get out of this alive, chat. It's a big draw. Big draw. There's three land. Ouch. Please stop. Probably pretty easy counters. Let's take the hit, uh, pay the ward. And then we get countered, but then we counter their counter. And it's, it's we've got it, you know? No! And then Make Disappear actually finds a use. Fantastic. Well, we're down to 13, which isn't good. And, uh, well, we pulled some more counter magic along the way. Here is another. <laughs> cool. So many land. Ay, 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 Poppy. That's not okay. Just a little bounce of Roni. This definitely gets countered if possible. No. Does this hit? Are you out of counter magic? Why would they let that through? I have exercised the demons. For now. I, know, I mean, there's another one coming back here. Ouch. Down to 10. Oh, here's the gin. Sees the storm again. Go for the throat. One, two, three, four. Sub at zero. Patty's shotgun. Yes. I don't know how we're surviving. I don't have any counter magic though, which is what I need, because this is what an eleven eleven again? Ooh! With trample. With. 
Chapel chat. Doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. Lighten up. Try to draw an answer. That's not it. Much to consider. Maybe they just deal 14 damage. I would probably say so, say so. I would probably say so. It's only dealing three damage. But it pushes this up. Taught you your manners. Ouch. They're going for lethal chat. Cast this, exile it from your grave. Nice. That's lethal. Good game. Fantastic display of power. Dun 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 Look how good I am at not drawing the correct line. <laughs> That's what the deck name should have been today. Um, you know, every deck has its day. It wasn't the day for Demir Control. With this being said, you know, it would be not a great thing for me just to fill in the shuffler. It provided some comedy, I'll admit. It was fantastic. Um, but how can we mitigate that? So it's going to be uh, maybe more Celestis. That Scry helps. It is also the land base. So if we have too many land, it can get rid of them. If we have not enough land, it's acting as that ramp. Um, so, you know, maybe that helps out a little bit. Potentially some cheaper draw, you know, dare I say I consider uh, something like this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, some scry, some draw, potentially some surveil. And uh, on that note of surveil, we have uh, Leer, Disciple of the Drowned. Now that can come in if we are looking to cheat a little bit more. Uh, I think that would be fantastic. You know, the thing about Invoke, it goes to your graveyard. It's not like a double turn spell, which exiles itself after you cast it because it's so powerful. Uh, it's actually going to stay around for you to potentially recast from your grave with your Leer. So that was my big idea is let's add a Leer to the deck. You know, let's look at protecting Leer. We probably drop Negate, take more Disappears. Um, maybe Fading Hope as well on the side. Um, potentially even the Hallbreaker Horror if you really want to get gross with it. But uh, we'd have to trim. You know, we'd probably have to trim Soren. We'd probably have to trim that Liliana, you know. Um, then the gates go, like I said, and, uh, you know, maybe we get some extra room there because we could make it more consistent. You know, I know we could uh, definitely improve the build. I do really like the Planeswalker edition that we have here because of Farewell. You know, I can't stand Farewell. Lear is super weak against Farewell unless it's dealt with, which you'd have to make to superior Lear to counter it. Uh, with the casualty sacrificing it, allowing you to counter that spell. Um, so it's a hard meta for Lear, but I can't help but think that that's the right decision. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Let's hit the store and buy a pack. Spend that gold, baby. Let's go. Dun. Ooh, 90% off. Thank you so much for the free gold. That's fantastic. 550 gold. Literally the most generous thing Wizards has ever done. Which, you know, it, it grinds my gears when you see, um, where are we going, packs? They give out like 10% off a pack. And it's like, man, I do not want 10% off a pack. That's outrageous, man. Give me at least 25, you know? That is so crazy. So, thank you for watching. Have an absolute magical day. We'll continue to buy packs while we wait for the new box. We've got a Phyrexian box pre-ordered. It'll be here in a little bit. You know, obviously we're still waiting for that set to come out and uh, you know, we can tune up our collection, right? Get 100% complete, build up to these 69 packs while we wait. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a little goals for myself day to day to keep things fresh and keep you entertained. Thanks for watching. Have an absolute magical day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member. Challenge me every single Sunday live on the members only stream, but most importantly, take care of yourself and we'll see you soon in the next.